I've been recording these videos on a weekly basis for about nine months now. Over that time, I think the record for the shortest video is something like two minutes 36, 39, something like that. Nice and short and sharp. Well, today I'm gonna to try and smash that record. We're gonna cover off a really short and sharp topic, airport environs overlay. What is it and when do you need to worry about it? Okay, let's just jump straight into it. What is the purpose of the airport environs overlay? Put simply, it's to protect the ongoing function and operation of our airports. So if you're planning to do a high rise building, something that could potentially obstruct the flight paths, like my airplane, meow, <laughs> the flight path off the airplane, or if you're doing a use that's gonna sort of have open food areas, so a dump or something where there's waste laying around that wildlife like birds are gonna be attracted to, keep in mind, obviously, planes, meow, and birds, <laughs> tell I've been hanging around my goddaughter too much I'm doing all these things don't go well together then this overlay is going to be applicable to you however if you're just doing a house extension a new house a two or three story unit complex you're not going to have any impact on those flight paths so you don't need to worry about this overlay at all it really is that simple now as I mentioned at the beginning of this video we've been recording videos for about nine months now that is a lot of videos if you think you've missed one, let me get more words out. If you think you've missed one and you'd like to check out what you've actually missed, I'd encourage you to jump on our Facebook page, click on the video tab and have a look through everything that is there. Until next time, thanks for watching. For all you red tape lovers out there, I have one thing to say. Well, no, actually, I've got three. Number one, the advice provided in these videos is general in nature. It's not site specific. You would be a silly billy to go and make financial decisions based on this advice without first checking with the town planner. Don't be a silly billy. Number two, Brisbane town planning is in no way linked to Brisbane City Council. The views expressed in these videos are my own, not council's. So if you don't like them, blame me, not council. Number three, what was my number three? Oh yeah, the views expressed in these videos are accurate at the time of recording. If you're watching this video back 10 years from now, the views may not be so accurate. That's all. Bye.